for the MakeCode Minute, what I want to talk about is using MakeCode Arcade and the controller extension so that you can read the light sensor that's built right onto the Pi Gamer. So the way I'm going to do this is inside of MakeCode Arcade, I'm going to head to Extensions. And there's this controller extension, and it has more to it than you might think. So when I add this extension, it will uh, populate some new things into the controller category that's already there. And so now when I open it up, not only do I get my normal button move and move sprite with buttons and, and press button A and all that, but uh, when I head down, we get extras. And the extras that I'm going to care about here right now are, you can use this on light bright, but uh, I'm going to actually go straight for this one, light level, because I want to use varying numbers. So what I'm going to do is bring in this light level. And I've already prepared these blocks. This is on the uh, game update. Every time it updates, it's going to set the position on the y-axis of my sprite. And it's going to map the light level uh, from a range that I kind of played with to get numbers I liked, 80 to 255 from low to high. And it's going to map those to 120, which is the bottom of the screen, to 0, which is the top of the screen. So if you look at my screen here, you can see that as I tip it forward, I'm getting more light. You can even see it shining off the screen there, and it's changing the Y position of that object. Or if I grab a little flashlight, you can see there that I can move that just by getting that photo cell to, uh, to register. The resistance lowers as the, as the brightness increases. And all the hard work is done for you right inside of Make Code. So that is a way inside of Make Code Arcade to utilize the light sensor on the Pi Gamer to adjust the position of a sprite or do other kinds of cool gameplay. And that is our Make Code Minute.